So when I am feeling blue, I, I need you to stay with me here a little bit on this explanation. One of my favorite pastimes is to go on Amazon or other online shopping retailers and look up spiders and just read the reviews people have left for spiders. It could be all kinds of spiders, like Halloween decoration spiders, plush spiders, um, toy spiders, any kind of spider. There's just something so delightfully unnecessary about a plastic spider, which is why for me, the idea of somebody attempting to critically analyze the quality of a spider they've received is just really funny. I'm aware that whenever I mention a thing that I just do for fun, it sounds really, really weird. But like I said, you have to bear with me. And I just thought that because it's Halloween time and spiders are kind of in season right now, like a berry, I just thought it would be fun if you and I together now could just go through some spider listings and I can kind of show you what I mean. I think I'll convince you. So first I'm going to search Halloween spider. I feel like that's a good sampling of spiders. It doesn't really matter if the spider in the listing image itself looks funny. What's really important is that it has reviews because that's where the gold is buried. It can be the plainest, simplest Halloween spider and you'll find some gems in the reviews. Let's look at this guy first. It's got pretty good reviews. Scary Spido, great Halloween spider. It's a giant spider, very nice, and it came with a very, very big web. Good quality. <laughs> the way he's holding it. Cool spider. This spider is really big. Cool. Oh, this one's contentious. Sloppy job. This is not a large spider. It's a little bigger than my hand. Delivery in two days is great in the package, but very disappointed in the spider. That is not a large spider. It was supposed to be a large spider, and it wasn't. For price, it was disappointing. Large? I think not. This is a small generic spider, not worth the money, and certainly not true to the product title. Oh my god, the amount of lore that Tom Chambers gives us. My wife bought this as a prank. She put it in the bathtub with the shower curtain drawn. The spider is a little less than a foot long. She thought it would be funny because I'd found some Eastern Parson spiders and I couldn't stop talking about them. It is unusual to find a cluster of spiders, especially during the day. I wasn't scared when I opened the shower curtain. This spider is too big to be scary. The eyes are like very tiny Christmas ornaments. Gloria has scared me in the past. I thought I had the house to myself one night when she was at an open mic. My workshop was in the basement and I'd planned to do some sketches for the solar panel racks I was building. When I opened the door to the basement, I turned on the light and Gloria was standing at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> She'd been standing in the dark and practicing the poem she was going to read. The poem was called Babies. <laughs> Three stars for the spider. The product description has this like promo image, like extolling its virtues. Creeping and crawling, red eyes and fangs, hairy body and legs, hang in the air or in a giant web, glowing eyes and a squeaking voice. That's the feedback I get about myself also. It has safety warnings and directions in this section and a legal disclaimer and all three are about anal fissures. It can itch and cause pain. Why is this here? Question, does it look like real spider? Answer, yes, it looks great. This is a four star review, but it's titled seven stars. A star for each of my spider's seven legs. Love the big spiders. I bought so grandchildren wouldn't be afraid of spiders. My 18 month old granddaughter likes to play hat with them as we put them on our heads. Two stars, rather plain, not one of their best. Go for the tarantula, more fun. What, he's just roasting the type of spider it is? A quality on this spider is very poor. It's made of rubber which wiggles. Five stars, car spider. It was smaller than I expected, but I love this little lady. She lives in my car in front of the speedometer. No one will want to steal a car with a creepy looking spider in it. That's actually genius. One star. It's just a plastic spider. Don't waste your money. What did you think you were getting? Ooh, this is a rainbow spider. Five stars. If for some reason you need a rainbow spider, this is it. This is some kind of like spider with a clown face instead of a spider face. Just okay. I love the imagining getting this product and being like, 
Eh, it's just okay. I like everything about this review. They have this included image of the spider, which has it like with an apple, I guess for scale. And the review is also really good. Sufficient does not match example image well. <laughs> sufficient. <laughs> it's a sufficient giant cardboard spider. Five stars, tiny spiders. I can't express how much I love these things. I need more. I'm your tiny spider, a spider for money. Popo tarantula figure, oh, one star. This spider is nowhere near five inches. It's closer to 2.7. Absolutely not what we wanted. We just threw it away. What, what did you need it for? Spider is one of the hottest items for Halloween decorations. I put this one out on the cactus plant in my front yard. The size is pretty impressive when extends all the legs. I used the legs to grab the cactus stems. Looks like a giant creature is waiting there patiently for its victims to drop by. Read reviews that mention spider is huge, spooky and great, legs, scary. Oh, someone took some beautiful pictures of the spider. Oh, perfect Halloween deco with baby and mama spider. Basic, not as big or elaborate as expected. Very basic spider. <laughs> Finally found a good one. I have been searching for a long time for a good spider. I have finally found it. Oh my God, this person wrote a novel about this spider. Well, he like took it, he opened it up. How much did he spend? This is a $10 spider. Why did you mod your $10 Halloween spider? The good, the product is, for the most part as described, and all came in working order. Nice sound, excellent shaking motion. As others have noted, the spiders shed quite a bit. You have to physically tap the spider to activate it. Even loud sounds nearby generally won't make it go off. Overall, I was looking for a spider decoration that would activate when trick-or-treaters walked by, specifically one that came with light, sound, and movement. With the exception of motion activation, this product checked all the boxes. I was able to cut the leads to the microphone, yellow wires and run a cat five wire out of the back of the spiders to a simple circuit breadboard, a distance of 35 feet. When I see trick-or-treaters coming up the walk, I can hit the buttons on the breadboard. Love this noisy spider. Okay, I wanted this one bad and well, it sucks and fell apart. So disappointed, save your money. I would not put it outdoors in case it rains because the body part is soft and feels like a cushion. Also the fur would fall. I don't want it to look like a wet spider. <laughs> Good size prop, love the shake. Not a fan of the sounds, but she posted the, <laughs> she posted posted an image of it shaking and making it sound, but she has it posing with an orange vanilla Coke. Again, I assume for scale. It's just a weird sight. Don't worry. The box says this is the maximum size you can get for a fake spider. Oh, thank God. Well, guys, it was too good to be true. Not just longer legs, but a bigger, badder spider. I have a few smaller spiders, about 30 inches, and wanted a larger spider to act as their mother. Big spider. The spider is very large. It has legs that are easy to bend. Deflect birds from hitting windows. Great price. These are perfect for preventing birds from hitting windows. <laughs> Put them on the outside of the window. Use more than one if the window is large. Birds are afraid of large spiders because the big ones sometimes eat birds. This is the only thing I've tried that has worked. <laughs> Somebody please tell them that you could just put anything on a window. You can put a sticker. You don't have to have large rubber spiders glued to every large window on your house. It's cheap and something you could buy at a gas station. It's a spidery piece of junk. People, I was looking for a big spider here. Something I could stick on the side of my house or my car for trunk or treat and impress people. This thing doesn't pass the test. Spider manufacturing dudes, get your act together. Sheesh. Probably the best spider figure that is on Amazon. It's frankly fantastic. It's a good size where it's going to grab attention, but it's not so over the top that it looks comically unrealistic. My only issue with the spider was the craftsmanship. A good friend. My child doesn't have friends, so I bought him this spider. <laughs> he really likes it. It's large and fuzzy, just as advertised. He uses it to scare his mother by hiding it in her bed or sneaking up behind her and brushing her with its fuzzy legs. The only drawback is the construction is not super robust. So if it breaks, then my child will be friendless again. 
the worst thing I've ever read. Three stars. Quality isn't what I wanted. More legs than spider. Not very well made, so not sure if it will last through several Halloweens. It will be effective, but not that realistic. Scary. Big. Hairy. Very scary. Works well with my gutter hang large spider web. It served its purpose. Broke apart instantly. Terrible product. It is a shame it is all about money versus producing a quality product. It's such a shame to see corporate greed destroying the giant spider industry. Worked pretty well on most birds. Used it to keep birds off the lower branches of my cherry trees. Worked pretty well on most birds. Didn't affect the starlings at all. Who are all these people using these spiders as like scarecrows? Large spiders. Great decorating for Halloween. Received two and they a large. Five stars. Three stars. Gift. Don't know it was a gift. A gift for whom? Two stars. Mediocre. I just love the image of someone receiving a big fluffy plastic spider and being like, hmm, I've seen better. Not scary. Didn't scare anyone in my office. Too fake looking. Lame, weak spiders. One star. I wasted money on these sticky, rubbery-like spiders. An amazing gift. My kid loves it. It is much better than what I thought. My kid likes that pair of red scary eyes pretty much. CTW, the spider is furry and it feels so good. One big spider. If you want a giant Halloween spider, this is the spider for you. Three stars, very basic. Typical large spider, average. This is the Crazy Bones large skeleton spider. I love skeleton spiders because spiders have exoskeletons. So a skeleton spider looks like a spider. Just exactly what a spider looks like. What you see is what you get. Impressive size on this monster spider. Although we know spiders don't have skeletal structures, I said to myself I would see how I feel with at least one spider to add to my collection of bone creatures. Five stars. This is the best spider skeleton on the market. Five stars. High simulation of the spider. That is a really good spider for scaring my brother. I set that in his locker. He opened his locker at that moment. He got shocked. Those feats is such as long and furry. I'll mark that one helpful. One star, too small. Very small. I was trying to replace my old spider that I've had for 15 years. The package holding the spider is smaller than the body of my old spider. Was not impressed with this spider. That reviewer is definitely the kid whose only friend was a spider. 15 years from now. Five stars. My husband likes this for some strange reason. My husband ordered this for some strange reason and likes it for some strange reason. It's sitting on top of his desk in the bedroom. This review was left January 3rd. I just recorded a lot of me looking at spider reviews and then was like, okay, well, that's, that's that. I stopped the recording because I just forgot I had to do some kind of outro. So anyway, that was the video. Uh, happy Halloween. <laughs> I know this is not my usual thing, um, but I just thought that I like doing this. And that's the video. Say goodbye, Aragog. Soft and furry friend. Bought as a gift. He was immediately named Ferdinand and is a constant companion to his new owner. The main weight of the body is the thorax slash abdomen, so it fits very easily in one's palm. You can do the whole villain cat pose with this delightful spider. It's not a bad idea. I want to play hat like those grandkids that one woman mentioned. <laughs>